Immediate assembly polls in Jammu and Kashmir was the dominant demand of all political leaders from the Union Territory who met the Visiting Election Commission, EC, team here on Thursday. The team led by Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar arrived here in the morning and met with representatives of registered political parties, including the National Conference, NC, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, the Congress and the Jammu and Kashmir Panthers Party, JKPP at the Shirai Kashmir International Convention Center, SKIK. The EC delegation also comprising election commissioners Gyanesh Kumar and SS Sandhu was here on a three-day visit to review the preparedness for assembly polls in Jammu and Kashmir and take feedback from political parties. Talking to reporters after party-wise meetings with the poll panel's delegation, political leaders said they were unanimous in their demand for immediate assembly elections in the union territory. UT. They also demanded that a level playing field in the polls should be ensured for restoration of democracy in Jammu and Kashmir. The Supreme Court has directed the central government to conclude the process of conducting the elections by 30th September. The polls schedule is yet to be announced by the EC. The BJP's Jammu and Kashmir unit batted for immediate assembly elections. Its spokesperson R. S. Pathani said, we told the EC that we want elections to be conducted as soon as possible. Our intention was Jammu Kashmir in free and fair election. There is free and fair, but people are more than ever. Biggest turnout. And in this turnout, Jammu Kashmir people have a decision to make a decision to Jammu Kashmir. The party wants the elections to be held within the Supreme Court's deadline, he said. NC Kashmir Party The party wants the elections to be held within the Supreme Court's deadline, he said. NC Kashmir Provincial President Nasir Aslamwani, who led a five-member party delegation, said the NC demanded immediate assembly elections. Our only demand is that the people of JK now want to have their own government. We told the EC that you came here many times and we met you but now there should be some definite decision on it, he told reporters. <laughs> दस साल से इलेक्शन नहीं हुए हैं, 2018 से सिविलियन गवर्नमेंट नहीं है, एक एक आधा एलजी चंद अफसरान और एक आधा एडवाइजर इस पूरी रियासत को चला रहे हैं, हम लोगों को अब बहुत मुश्किलात का सामना करना पड़ेगा। We said there has been no government in JK since 2018 and the assembly elections have not taken place for the last 10 years. Vani said and added that the NC told the EC that a lieutenant governor, his loan advisor and a few bureaucrats cannot run the UT. Political, developmental and security issues can be addressed when the people have their own representatives, he said and added that they, the EC, have assured us that elections will take place this time. Congress leader G. N. Monga said democracy should flourish in Jammu and Kashmir. We call ourselves the mother of democracy but the people of JK are without elections since last many years. Democracy should flourish here and elections should be held sooner, he told reporters. Monga said the party delegation also discussed the security scenario in JK with the EC. We told them that there is a discrimination between parties on providing them security. So, we appeal that every party should be weighed in the same scale, he added. <laughs> PDP leader Khurshid Alam, who was part of the party's delegation that met the EC, said people of JK should have the right to elect their own government. What justification is there not to hold polls when the government says the situation has improved and is better, when one crore tourists came here, and when the parliamentary polls and Amarnath Yatra took place without any incident? He asked. He said the need of the hour is to restore democracy in JK. The county believes in democracy, so we should have elections immediately. The PDP leader said and added that the, there was a very positive response from the EC. The election commission, the commission, the chief election commission, or those members of the honorable members of the commission, हमने उन्हें यहाँ के हालात के बारे में हमारी जो पिछले कई सालों से इमान रही है, 
यहाँ के लोगों को जो यहाँ के राज जिंदगी है उसे छः साल महरूम रखा गया है जो किसी भी जमहूरी मुल्क के लिए कोई शाया निशान बात नहीं है वो इम्प्रेस का पान हिंद कि आप यहाँ के हालात को देखने के लिए आए हैं यहाँ के हालात आप वहाँ बैठ कर भी देख सकते थे गवर्नमेंट का दावा है और सही दावा है एक करोड़ लोग यहाँ सयाह आए और बेहतरीन हालात में वापस चले गए पार्लियामेंट का इलेक्शन हुआ और बड़ा स्मूथ और अच्छे ढंग से हुआ यात्रा हो रही है अब कंक्लूड हो रही है और अमन माहौल में हुई सो देर शुड बी नो रीजन टू से हालात को देखने के लिए आए हैं और ऑन द फ्लोर ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट ऑनरेबल होम मिनिस्टर एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड रील दैट जम्मू एंड कश्मीर के जो हालात है वो बहुत बेहतर है जब ये सारी चीजें आ रही हैं सरकार की तरफ से और लोगों की जो डिमांड छह साल से जिन लोगों को महरूम रखा गया है हक के नुमाइंदगी से तो हमने गुजारिश करी है इलेक्शन कमीशन से कि खालिस्तान निशस्तें ना की जाए मीटिंग सी खाली ना की जाए बल्कि रिजल्ट ओरिएंटेड NC leader Vani said the party also demanded a level playing field in terms of providing a secure environment for the polls. We do not have personal differences with the LG, but he is basically a political appointee and we have apprehensions that his decisions may be biased. So, we requested them, the EC, that the government be sanitized to provide a level playing field without any bias. Such an environment should be created in terms of security which will provide a level playing field, he added. asked if the party was hopeful of the conduct of the polls he said we have always been hopeful and this time also we are hopeful the ec has assured us that this will now be completed because they told that there were certain things which they had to complete and which are now in place now i do not see any reason for not conducting the election he said vani said the party is hopeful that the supreme court's 30th september deadline would be met when the parliamentary polls were conducted in a good manner the why cannot assembly polls be held polls have taken place in difficult times also even in 1996 when the situation was bad we told the ec that it is a question of their credibility either you make stronger those voices which do not want elections or you have to maintain your credibility and conduct the election vani said and added the response of the eci was positive after this meeting the ec will review the preparations with election officers and superintendents of police all districts as well as the chief secretary and the director general of police the ec team's visit will culminate on 10th august at jammu where it will hold a review meeting with law enforcement agencies it will also hold a press conference thanks for watching this program please like and share this program and give your comments also kindly subscribe to this channel